Reap. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. And it was around that time when the owner and his son came out that I ended up having to beat the owner to death with his own shoe. Was it an explosive Ladle shoe? Was it a shoe phone? No, it gave me the boot afterwards. Ah. But I really socked it to the guy. Would you know where his soul went? <clears throat> what? Do you know where his soul went? Oh, God. I don't know. That's kind of my Achilles heel. Uh, ladles and gentle beans. Welcome, one and all, to that most plentiferous of potash posthumously pickled parties parties yes thank you um talking of pickled ah uh, getting right pickled pickling that liver oh it's the only way to eat it <laughs> With a glass of candy. <laughs> does, wait, wait. Does Plantiferous really have no hits on Google? Wow. Well, None. You just, you just invented a word. I've used that word for years. Well, you apparently created it. So. How does Plantiferous? No, Plantiferous. Yeah, it's not a word. Uh, it's, it's an extension of Plentiful. That doesn't exist. Yeah. What? Being in a plentiferous state, a state of plenty. Plentiferous. Yeah, that's not a that's not a word. <laughs> but now you all know it. And splendiferous. Splendiferous is, is yes. And yeah. this is like splendiferous, but it's plentiferous. I see. This well, this is how well, words created. are created. One well, person look, uses man, it, all... and then. Next thing you know, uh, I have, President Biden's going to use it in a speech. I had Probably. to have a discussion with someone very much into plants who begrudged me the word coniferous. And I said, OK, what about if the blood god had trees, would they be corniferous? <laughs> Feeling like chaos? Oh boy. Uh, hello everybody, welcome to the... How many am I up oh. to now, Eric? I'm trying to get that 47. Wait, isn't there... Um, you're not close. You gotta keep... What's that, what's no. that movie with the cornfield? Children, Children of the corn. corn? Okay, so were they corniferous? Or Field of Dreams? Both. <laughs> I mean, that movie with the cornfield. Hell, there's an argument for, um... Interstellar. <laughs> yeah, good point. That one too. Were they corniferous? <laughs> yeah, many oh, horror man. movies have a cornfield for some reason. Yeah, I mean, it's always for some reason. You're never really sure why. Is that uh, actually, and yeah, it's also good... very out of season for corn to be growing. North End Trooper makes a good point. Is that what corn fans are called? Children of the corn? They should be. I thought they were vegetarian. <laughs> Uh, hello everyone, oh, welcome to no. another stellar episode of whatever the fuck this is that we do every Saturday night. Um, I love our chat. I just want you to all to know that I love our chat. I love every They're just like, yes, there. ending this. This is great. <laughs> mm -hmm. One day we should do a show just corn. me and chat. I, I would <laughs> love that. Corn and sadness. Yep. You know what's actually really <laughs> sad? It's it's oh okay you know what fine North End we were gonna we were gonna talk about that but we're gonna start with that now because you brought it up so 
How about that unity, eh? They don't seem very unified in their decisions. I don't know, but they've unified a whole load of developers against them. Oh, rightly so. Also, if we're going to toast them, we're going to be charged for one sip, and then after we've drunk it, they're going to charge us for several ship, uh, sips afterwards. Well, I'm surprised that we're actually not going to... Uh, actually, I, I don't know. I haven't actually read the, the full terms and conditions, but are we going to be charged for uh, for every time we say unity on the show? Uh, yes. Um, anytime anyone ever utters the word, um, they uh, they actually have to flip like a quarter into like a cup oh. and it's rounded up right because there's like it's it's too hard to do 20 cents you know um yeah, it's so so it's 25 if you say the word in person if you say it online 20 cents instantly gets debited from your bank account that you know what that is actually I a understand. fantastic idea because lots of religions talk about unity and they're just going to be throwing money at at unity See, I was taking a slightly different route. I was going to okay. say that they're yeah. going to charge Mahatma Gandhi's estate a shitload of money. <laughs> that too, yeah. Retroactive. Um, I, I will. So, oh god, North End. Um, I I don't know if this is apocryphal or not, but I have heard that their CEO. Poss I don't know if it was when he was with EA or not. But at one point posited that a good way of making money in multiplayer shooter games would be that every time you are out of ammo, you could be auto debited a small a fee, a, a small it a fee. Dollar. It was a dollar, a I dollar. That was when he was working with EA. Yeah. Yeah. If, if um, it's true. To be to be fair, what he was actually yeah. talking about. Because I actually heard some context on this. What he what he was actually saying was that after a player has been playing for a long time, it is more likely that they would be fine with that charge than if it had happened at the beginning of their play session. But they were still talking about talking the possibility of charging people six hours into a play session a dollar to reload their gun. Six dollars a play session. Well, I'm going to charge them $12 a play session for my fucking time. And then I'm going to retroactively bill them for all of my time. Oh, my God. Um, but, I mean, it is it is a concern. I mean, it was always a concern that they hired a CEO from EA. Um, yeah. It's kind of yeah. amazing it took three years for things to get this bad, but. I I mean, I'm I'm genuinely hopeful that there's some insider trading uh, opened oh, up is. here because he, he all sold like, all his almost, stock it, right before this every every freaking executive of that company sold all their stock right before yeah. this announcement <laughs> like and and to be fair uh, to the unity devs as i understand it lots of to be fair as i understand it lots of the <laughs> unity devs have actually left the company in outrage at this current misadventure i nerd that that's good i also yeah I, yeah darge you, there's nothing and the, um uh linus is saying this on uh on the wan show last night but he's like you know when you like go out of your way to delete your terms of service on github before you <laughs> make in fairness, <laughs> Linus is just happy that someone else it's... is getting flack instead of him. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, someone else looked looks worse than me? Sweet. Oh, man. Yeah. Considering, don't forget as well, this is the same person that monetized an apology video, and you're like, hmm. Yeah, I know. Cattle yeah. pulling the coffee black, huh? Cattle pulling the pot yeah. black. Well, uh, I, I, sorry, and so I, much of this, so much of this decision by Unity makes no sense. They were already, no. honestly, struggling a bit against um, Unreal. Um, they Not have really. just eaten fifty percent of the. Yeah, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say Unreal. Fifty percent of all <sighs> games are made in Unity. Unity. My my thing is like money wise. Because mm -hmm. Epic has Fortnite, they can do so much more. Now, yep. what what Unity has done here, and there are still going to be a couple years of games that will inevitably come out on Unity because they're too late to switch. 
what yep. Unity have done now, though, I, you are going to see a like a deadfall where no oh, in, yeah. in like three years, nothing is going oh, to have been God. made on Unity. However, you know what might pick up the slack? Good note. Source 2. That Awful would be great. Source. That, that would be great. Good. It would. But, th I mean, there are other options out there as well. Anyway, yep. if you want an engine that is open source and free. Lumberyard could, could uh, you know... <laughs> oh, keep <laughs> this real. An engine that's super hard to develop in. All right. <laughs> um, uh, but I wanted to say this before engine... we started, but I've got some good news. What's, What's that? Potential good news. Uh, there's a uh, so uh, there's a possibility that it's looking like Amazon and Games Workshop have finally made the deal with Henry Cavill. Oh, uh, I hope so. Stocks went up just over eleven percent closing over the weekend randomly. Um, Crazy. Oh, what was the other thing? There was something... Oh, yeah, the website has changed to suddenly have assets for Eisenhorn. I think that was what it was. I don't, it's some Inquisitor. I don't fucking know. Uh, and everyone's like, why is that suddenly there? And it's not tied to any book or anything like that. I That is really exciting. Uh, Cavill is great, and he has been maligned and like kicked out of places where he should have been. Like The Witcher Season 3 was ass and... let's not point henry cavill as a saint either here the man no. has done some wrong things absolutely but basically everyone has I... but no henry cavill is an angel I have no idea. a blood angel <laughs> i have no idea i've never heard anything bad about the man but i'm sure he's not a saint because none Did... of us are i don't i don't want to repeat it what i've heard because i don't want to get sued by henry cavill which you but would i, I have a... uh, probably uh, I, 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 yeah. I, Ma, I'm, I'm firmly of the opinion that anybody who has money or power has done at least one shitty thing, because they have money and power. Pretty much. I, I, I am... mean, because they're a human being. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> hey, if you give, if you give a human being like unlimited ability to do whatever the hell they feel like, it's. Um, I mean, yeah. so. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I want to I want to make a couple last points about this unity thing before we move on to the next topic, which mm -hmm. we actually got some topics this week, which is crazy, or at least I do in my head. Um, the voices keep telling me what to talk about. Um, I have voices in my head, but I ignore them and keep on killing. That's a good 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 way to good way to go. Good way to go. No, oh, no, that sounds wrong. Strike that. Um. Unity's statement that, like, developers don't have to worry about things like Game Pass because Microsoft will pay the fee for games that are on, like, services or, like, Sony would pay is, mm -hmm. like, I can just picture someone walking into the legal department at Microsoft and be like, hey, hey, hey. Hey everyone, did you hear the news? And everyone would be like, no, what's up? And they'd be like, Unity said that we have to pay their fee. And just an entire like 18 floors of the, the building, because that's how laughter. big the legal department is. Just rioting in laughter. Like Yeah, yeah, darn. Yeah, like, much more much, much more likely that Microsoft's gonna tell them to pound sand. Oh yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> And charge him for speaking you Microsoft's love the name optimism, name. though, haven't you? Yeah, no, don't. See, this oh, is yeah. the thing that blows my mind. You don't worry about that. Microsoft, there PlayStation, the... Sony, whatever. They'll, they'll pay your bill. They'll pay. Yeah, I'm going to go to the bar, and um, Jack Daniels is going to pay my bill. Yeah, yeah. The, the thing that blows my mind about this whole thing, and it, it really does truly blow my mind, there is a model to do what they wanted to do. Yep. It exists. Other engines use it. Everybody uses it. What do you do? You charge them a percentage of their revenue. It is yep. an established model. It works. They're trying to reinvent the wheel in a way that, and they're like, they obviously didn't like anticipate all the corner cases. And it's like, why are you trying to do this? Just do what everyone right. else does and you won't get in trouble. 
guys, I will be right back. Link is making some noise. I gotta go check. Yeah, on no him. problem. I am sorry. Yeah, go check on him. Carry on. I will be. I will return. Oh, hey, hey! You don't need to do that. Nintendo will do it for you. <laughs> but um, but seriously, like you know, just tell them they're gonna charge them five percent of the revenue and go on your merry way, and no one would have even batted an eye. But no. And it's not like Unity is this amazing engine. You don't pick up and use Unity because it's this great, wonderful engine. It's easy to use. It's easy to use and a lot of people use it. used to be cheap. It's easy to use and a lot of people use it, and which, which means that there's a lot of developers who know how to use it. it like there's a good synergy there, right? Um, they're, they're really giving themselves some big problems here. Um, there was... I can't remember which one it was, but there was one developer who said that they are uh, going to abandon two years of development in Unity to switch engines now. Um, and, like... It's yeah, madness. I don't know. You're basically looking it's... at five years until Unity is basically completely and also ran and nobody talks about it anymore. Unless they change their course pretty fast. Yeah. <clears throat> it's madness. It's absolute madness. Like, okay. back. No idea. He's passed out of sleep. I think he might just oh. be having dreams. He's like uh, making... probably thinking about <laughs> Unity. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's the Unity thing is just, just absolutely oh. insane. Um, I I said this before the show, and before the show, I said I wasn't actually going to say this on the show, but then I realized I don't give a shit. Um, I've just I've decided that the Unity thing is actually orchestrated by um, fuck, what's their names? Help me out, Eric. What are their names? No, don't you don't no 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 don't don't fine okay fine. Fine. Uh, shall we move on then? Because I want to talk a little bit about Starfield again. Well, it seems like you're trying to... Oh, okay. I had a segue, but okay. Oh, sorry. Can you do your segue? No, it won't play if you're going to talk about Starfield. Oh. I want to talk about Starfield. Then do it. I have, Go. I've, I have played over 48 hours of Starfield. I think I'm at like 55 to 60 hours of playtime in Starfield. Um, I'm sort of nearing the end of the main quest. Uh, if I choose to, you know, finish it, I've been doing other stuff. And the game is not for everyone. I am known to forgive a lot of things that a lot of people are like, this is the worst. I, I am. Um, I love starfield i think it is honestly phenomenal i think it's and you know people think that i am insane for this but i genuinely think that it is on par with baldur's gate as a game of the year contender for completely different reasons um baldur's gate is phenomenally handcrafted tight-knit experience that is like excellent writing and like great everything basically starfield is the writing great no no i, I it's not. only played the beginning of the game i can tell you no right away <laughs> it's not great but there is so much freedom and nice. it's i i find it really enjoyable really really enjoyable freedom and really really enjoyable gameplay um and it's, I keep thinking about Starfield in conjunction with Star Citizen, in that Starfield, honestly, Starfield is basically the game that I wanted way back in 2012, when Chris Roberts was like, I'm making a new game. I get to make my own ship and run cargo and like shoot people and get more weapons and get more ships and have bases. Like, it's just, I love it. I, yeah, North End, I am a madman. 
I a hundred percent, but it is genuinely a great, great game. And it does take a little bit to get into it. Yes, sure. Yeah, I, I had a big problem actually getting into the game. Um, the tutorialization, as you've pointed out, is bad. really bad. Really bad. Um, it's actually legitimately, for an experienced gamer, a hard game to play at the beginning and figure out what the hell you're supposed to do. Um, which anything. is weird. Well, yeah. I know, but but I'm at the point where I can't do anything at all, and I'm yeah. trying to figure out how to do things. Um, it, it's a bad but, opening. But I've heard I've heard that once you get into it, like a few hours in, it's really really good. <clears throat> yes, sure. That was never what Star Citizen was going to be. No, but I wanted for Star Citizen. I wanted Freelancer too. Starfield and... doesn't really seem like Freelancer Two, though, either. No, it's it's. I know it's not, but to me, this is closer to Freelancer than Star Citizen is going to end up being. It scratches the itch, though. That's what you're saying. Yes. Yeah, uh, the thing yeah, about yeah. Freelancer is it wasn't a complete simulation. It was still at its heart a video game. Yeah. And and we're going to talk about this a bit later when we talk about this week's episode of Stars of of uh, ISC. But Star Citizen is all sim, and they are they continue to make decisions that amplify the sim and remove the gameplay. Yeah, like the the gamification, and I I genuinely dislike that. I've got to see it in practice. But yeah. we'll we'll anyway we'll talk about that later. We'll we'll talk yeah. about that. We'll talk about the, we'll talk about that when we when we talk about cargo. Anyway, I just wanted to say that if everyone and if anyone hasn't tried it and has that you know space game itch, it can take a little bit to get into. But once you're into it, I I genuinely think it's I I think it's my favorite game of Bethesda. It's not their best written game, but it is the one that no, I'm that's having three like. Morrowind. Fall 3 was amazing. Like the writing. Fall though? 3 and Morrowind. Yeah, right. Writing and I mean, Morrowind was actually good. Oh, uh, yeah. The writing was. Mine the only. Well, I, yeah. I, did, I didn't like any of the Fallout writing. Really? New no. Vegas. Oh, wow. New Vegas was good, but that wasn't. New Bethesda's. Vegas isn't a Bethesda game. I know. No, it's it? not Bethesda. Yeah. Um, it I, is an Oblivion game. game. Yeah. I. I. My favorite Bethesda game has always been Morrowind, and Starfield hasn't... I don't think it's outdone Morrowind yet, but Starfield has only just come out, and there aren't really very mo many mods yet. And once the community gets, you know, really gets kicking... Jesus Christ. It's, I just think it's, it's funny. It's like, it's like, oh, it's a Bethesda game. We need half a dozen mods minimum just to make it, you know... The whole thing works uh, really good. It is it is great <laughs> on its own. I know. I'm just but I'm I'm excited for what funny. people can add because the the whole time yeah. you're playing, you're like, oh, but what if this? What if this? Oh, what if this? And you're like, in most games, you're like, what if this? Oh, I'll never know because it's never going to be done. In a Bethesda game, you're like, what if this? Oh, wait, I don't have to wonder because someone's gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, the you game, know, the engine, the engine's moddable enough. They just will yeah. do it anyway. Well, yeah. well, already they have a a limit, right? You can only make like an eighty meter by eighty meter max size ship, right? And and they've got it Ooh, justified as it, it's pretty big in in the game. It's the game it's actually good. not bad, and like its height and anyway, but like. So what you're saying you're, what you're telling me right now is that a Borg cube is the biggest ship you can make in the game. Well, no, because someone's already modded meters that. By eighty meters by eighty meters, right? Like yes, that's but the biggest ship. Four, four kilometers by four kilometers. No, no, by no. I kilometers. mean, sorry. What I was, what I'm trying to say is, that oh, you mean the okay. biggest ship you can make is a cube because yes. it's using all of the available space. And I, I said Borg cube because it's the only cubular ship I know of. <laughs> but but someone's already made a mod that removes that. <laughs> that restriction. <laughs> yeah. That's um, funny. Oh, a glimpse man. of what ESO six will be execution wise. I hope so. I think they've done a lot. Do you mean text, not ESO? 
Yeah, it'd be Tez. Because there's not even yeah. an ESO2 yet. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what they meant. Too. But isn't, that, that I is, think but... ESO's made, uh, well, I think ESO is made from a separate studio to yeah, it's, it's, Tez it's games. Zenimax. It's not yeah, no, it's for, for, for Tez 6. Um, yeah. But yes, yeah. I think there's a lot that they've done in Starfield that they they've uh, is it a good thing that they've done or not and i th i think they'll probably go back to it for for elder scrolls 6 but it's starfield is straight levels it's no longer like do so much of this thing and get a level in like do so much smithing you get a level in smithing this is just exp levels and you get to slot it wherever you want um there's a lot of slotting to do I, I, anyway really hoping that they're gonna do that they're gonna get a new engine to be quite honest with you for tez but 6 they've already they've already said they're not going to so fuck i nope, they're they're making like tez look at look at star i mean hey hey starfield look at all those loading screens you know why that you have those so many loading screens because they still engine. work yeah. in tiny little 32-bit size cells to but give you the illusion on. of a huge world. But hold on, Shiver. Because, yes, they had to do that for Starfield. And for Starfield, it's an illusion. Elder Scrolls, they don't need to do that because they can have a larger, they can have a larger world. That's not how engines work. It, but they've already done it with, like, it's going to be the same no, sort of thing. It'll be the same sort of thing as, like, Skyrim, yeah. Yeah, Skyrim was also cell-based. Yeah, of course it was. Yeah, but it was That's Because all... it's the same engine, and they were very small square, uh, very small cells, because it's a 32-bit engine that's only been 64-bit aware, and it always has been. It's but literally it's all, the same it... engine from Morrowind. But it's all one world you're not loading as you're no. walking around the world yes you are isn't it just streaming it's just streaming loading yeah okay so what's, yeah but, but what's the problem with that it's the problem is you because end up it's loading, ancient tech well, so? well, Mar well because it's shit eric go okay. ahead I mean, there's fundamental issues with the, with the creation engine. We all know what they are. You can see them even in Starfield. The Starfield's a lot better. They worked really hard to massage it, but um, you know, it's just it's unfortunate that they just don't try to do something better. They they have the talent to do it. Yes, and I will agree that they should do a different system. But I will also say that, like years ago or months ago when we were talking about this last and i was like i believe that they might have done better with this engine than previously and mm -hmm. they have they genuinely did starfield they do, is a they do better every game every game looks better yeah it's just that it there are you fundamental know... problems with the engine that are always there yeah. and 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 there are and there are always going to be those fundamental problems. And I think yep. the reason that they are not going to switch. Money. No. No, mods. I don't. Even, uh, mods. It's just mods. It's. Well, yeah. if, modders, if will only... any, modders will mod anything if you give them a tool to mod with. I mean, but if it's... only they were owned by some huge, massive yes. worldwide company that had under their umbrella a company famous for <laughs> making and creating engines that were absolutely yes. cutting edge. But Believe me, what kind of a world would that be? Believe me, I'm with you. I would love the next Elder Scrolls to be on an id engine. That would be absolute perfection. Um... But I'm or not Unreal Five. Yeah, that would be <laughs> fun too. That fucking engine that's old enough to vote. But I am not. I am not going to. Yeah, what North End says. But I am not going to rule out the game because oh, it's no. on no. the creation oh, engine. No, oh, everyone, everyone, will play, okay, okay. everyone will play. Okay, everyone will play. I will Tez. fucking buy Tez Six. I yeah. hands up. Yeah, well, but I'm going to sit here and, sad, and say, okay? "Oh, there's a, a little sad. fucking there's a problem piece, here." Like, yeah, uh, 
God okay, damn it. <laughs> fine. That's that, as long as you're not going to write it off because it's in no, the old no, engine. No. Because just no, like no, I, no. just like I didn't write I'm, off Starfield. Like, I'm genuinely you know, like, amazed at what they've pulled off with Starfield in that engine. Like, can you honestly, imagine the, the honest oh, yeah, wizardry? Yeah. There's some hor- There's some person that's like all shriveled up at their desk <laughs> in Bethesda headquarters. The engine programmer, right? He basically hasn't left his desk in years. He's just like, <laughs> how much yeah. more shit can I cram into this goddamn engine? <laughs> Todd standing outside <laughs> that fucking room with a whip and a crock, exactly, and he's like, yeah. okay, we're going to get another game out of you, and the engine's just like, get <laughs> Oh my god. I love uh, it. I... So anyway, um... I mean, it's, End... in fairness, it's not like there's a massive race within Bethesda <laughs> to get these things out. They do take their time. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. talking of racing... <laughs> look at that that was good that was a good one segway his way right in yeah. there look at that that was a good one play starfield it's great um okay uh, what yep. am i doing uh you're gonna have to give me a minute here where i try to remember how to podcast i mean that is pretty difficult <laughs> look i forget every single week okay i still after <laughs> 10 years have no fucking clue what I'm doing. Why I'm uh, still the one running this, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> Seems like the good, best, hilarious. best idea at the time. Well, because he's, what we do is we just keep modifying you over the years and re-release it, mostly because of the mods. <laughs> I would really love some mods. Like, imagine oh, if you could just like download your beard's a mod, your glasses are a mod. Technically, I'd like some more easily like insertable mods, though. See me after the show. <laughs> All right, let's talk. Let's talk speed. We'll talk plugins. <laughs> Let's talk. Hello, let's talk racing. going really fast and ramming into something hard as hard as you can and as fast as you on, can, uh, over and the, over and pit, over. In the pit. <laughs> that's not how you race. <laughs> that's how CIG <laughs> race, apparently. Yeah, it is. It's also how I race. Apparently, I tried to do racing again for the first time in years. Um, in the PTU, I still suck. Um, it's gonna take. I I think that I might eventually be somewhat decent, but I need a lot of practice. So, if I remember from, from last week, and keep in mind, this was last week, so I could be way off base here, uh, but as far as I remember, the entire... the entirety of this particular episode, the racing episode, boiled down to um, the Fury is the best racing ship. That's yep. it. No. The Fury... LX. The Fury yeah, LX. Sorry, the Fury LX is the best racing because ship. They, That's it. Because they replaced the weapons with additional maneuvering thrusters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, like, there was no real substance. It was... No. The hey, team, like... It, well, I mean, and they were showing off, like, the the racing that is in the PTU right now, and this is in the new patch in the Alpha yeah. 320. Uh, <clears throat> and they, they showed off some crashing. They were good at crashing. Um, they were good again, at crashing. we are... We are a couple the weeks irony. out from CitizenCon. <laughs> Star Citizen's very good at crashing. It's always it's, you always know when you're within like three months of CitizenCon. It's like okay, yeah, yeah, right. We are we are approaching <laughs> CitizenCon. Oh man! One of the things yeah. I'm not I'm not a race. So anyone that's out there that is into racing, please let me know. But. The, the way that they're saying it is you can just have the exact same ship and then it's all just down to skill. Yep. And it's like, well, why, why do we have different kinds of ships? And you, you, you've literally just said Fury LX. That's all people, that everyone's going to be racing in. Why bother with anything else? Because people have such huge amounts of varying skill. That's why. Also, some people will be well, some people will be an expert at flying X ship. Some people an expert be an expert at flying Y ship. And it's you know? you're gonna it's like racing. Like there's 
there is a best car for racing, but then it depends on the race and the race track, and then the like the tier of ship or of, of car that you allow in the races, right? So there will be races that don't allow the Fury LX, or that are only the Fury, or that are well, that have not just more end up with like cookie cutters. Like here is. This race, it was meant to be this, but everyone's using the 350R. Here's this race, but everyone's just using the Razor. Here's this race, and it's just the Fury LX. So, Shiver? Why would you choose an inferior ship? Shiver, I have a secret for you. That's racing games. Um, I have a, a real-world <laughs> example for you, which I think is kind of funny. Yeah. I had a family friend who was um, who, who did drift racing. Um, and, uh, everyone he competed against was all in, uh, brand new, um, Acuras and, uh, and, and Hondas. And, um, he liked to race early eighties Toyota shit boxes. He would, uh, he would go and he'd buy them and he would spend months rebuilding the crap out of them. And he would beat all of them in his little shit box Toyota. <laughs> No one really understood how, but, but he, he was a wizard with that freaking car. That's what it's gonna be like. <laughs> I mean, and he be and he won to, all the time. He can. Uh, I, I hope we'll be able to do such tuning or modifications to a ship. Yep. So do I. But nothing's been said yet. But one of the uh, things I they said in there so. that I thought was really funny was like, um, the one guy was like, "I thought I had a really really good lap," and then. My friend with the same ship was 15 seconds yeah. faster. <laughs> um, Agent 1213 mm. is Pyro coming out this year. Maybe. Yes. Dave is very, very, very convinced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, Just we had this discussion honey. before the show. We're calling him Dave for today. Yeah, uh, today yeah. I'm a Dave, not David. Um, so yes, it's coming out this year, just like, um, uh, um, Seda Ball came out four years ago. <laughs> oh man, I want to play Seda Ball. I still want to yeah. play Seda Ball. Uh, but yeah, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to say, I so say Pyro is coming. I say we're going to get Pyro. Um, how? Just out of thin air? Well, uh, I th I think it's going to be no, uh, be no. it'll be space, so it's very thin air. Yeah, very thin air. Uh, no, I actually think that they're going to take an old an old page out of Wing Commander. Um, the day the days of Wing Commander, and for each wave of oh, PTU, they're actually going to ship everyone a floppy four disc? four tons of floppy disks. That have to be inserted one at a time, and once you complete the entire series of fourteen thousand floppy disks, um, you have Pyro. I, I would love to Monkey see Island that two actually flashbacks. Happen. That would make me happy. <laughs> Twelve discs uh, do, for Monkey Island remember, two. Do you guys remember how shit those things were? My yes. God, they were awful. Wait, are we? we oh, oh, oh yeah, great at the time. Are we? We're talking like the original floppies, not even the the. Like which oh, are we the talking about? Like the 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 floppy floppies? Well, Monkey or like Two the... was off. It was on three and a quarter. Yeah, are we talking three and a quarter or the the biggins? The five point two five ones. Yarp. Which ironically didn't hold as much data as the smaller discs. <laughs> Yarp. Oh my god. Yarp. Oh. And it sounded like you're fucking. You were getting a fax machine in your drive, and you're like, "Oh, that's working." Then. Yarp. And you knew from the fucking sound it was making whether or not it was able to read the disc <laughs> yarp yarp oh good times yeah that was actually there, was, there were a lot of sounds that pcs used to make where you could just be like oh yeah i can't connect to the internet and you could tell like well before well before your computer actually told you you couldn't connect you could hear the sound sounds wrong yarp but do working. you remember do you remember when video games made sounds based on those system sounds and like your your computer would be beeping out the sounds of the com the game that you were playing? <laughs> totally. Because totally. there was no like sound 
It was it was all those oh, beats man. in like, oh god, fucking Good old. Days, right? Fucking old. Do you remember when it was huge um, gaps in between buying hard drives, and you went from a hard drive that would click and crunch, and then you went to one that was slightly quieter, and then you went to one that was slightly quiet, and now we here we are. It's like most people don't have a hard drive. I still do because storage. But yeah, I now hear the motherfucker spinning instead of searching for information. <sighs> yep. Um, in other news, the ships are pretty too. Mm. Hey. Um, yeah, free sandblaster. Oh yeah, sandblaster. Oh, I have a sound blaster. Me too. Oh, it's it weird. It's great. Uh, um, okay, so that was... You know what? Hang on, guys, because I have to actually give us some props, because we got 10 full minutes out of Fury LX's Fast. That's, yep. you know... We uh we lasted we we made that last a lot longer than I thought it would. You know, we were going fast and hard at it. Maybe your uh, sex tape. You why did you play the fifth video first? Uh I don't know. Oh no, oh no no never mind. No, this, no, is, this is the fourth. The, uh, right. This is right, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm I'm, My bad. I'm on My bad. it. My bad. I got it. My bad. My bad. This is the Fury. It's got You're pretty right. pretty blue glowy oh. things. It looks great. It does. It, it genuinely looks Wars great. Looking motherfucker. Yeah. The ships are getting really pretty. Getting yeah. Really pretty. I mean, it's, I think it's back the to like details. Yeah. It. I think back to like all those ships that we started with, and like, hey, this is the freelancer. It's the penis with balls on it. It's a long cylindrical yeah, object with two oh, things nipples. at the back. Yeah, they it's a penis have... with nipples. They got yeah. rid of the nipples, though. Better. Oh, uh, they did actually get rid of the nipples. Well, depends on what you think of the nipples. Was it, isn't it on the... It's, it's on, on the, the, uh, the, the Duracell, Duracell, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, still yeah. there. Uh, and then there's the merchantman with the flight penis. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, that's pretty hard to deny, right? Yeah. <clears throat> it was uh it was our our lovely friend uh Dolvac who came up with that yeah. uh, term. Dolvac came up with flight penis back in day. <laughs> and we do have an extendable penis ship with fringy bits. Uh which one's that? The hull, the hull A B C or D. Ships then ships. Well, it's gotta be the hull D. Yeah, it's the hull D. <laughs> It's the hull E for erect. Wow, yeah, that's really good. Thank you. Um, <laughs> also, look how beautiful this video is. It's it's God really damn. pretty. It is really pretty. I I hope that the racing stuff turns out. We'll have to see how it how it plays in game. But uh, you know, it's good that they're David, showing the ground stuff some love too. Yeah. I challenge I challenge you. The next time that we do this show together, yeah, I want to race against you in uh, the PTV racing. Sure, I want I've that never driven track. one. I, I want, I want that track. Perfect. That, that's the perfect <laughs> level of experience for that. <laughs> okay, sure, let's do it. I'm down. All right. So that was the racing stuff. Oh, give we, me. Hang on, before we quickly skip over, uh, one of the things that we haven't said that they did. I briefly mention as a crazy thing that Jared told them not to do uh, was they're upgrading the ground vehicles to include the same systems that the ships have, so power plants and so forth. Mm -hmm. Loving that. Loving that. Yeah, that's that amazing. It. I mean, it, it had to happen, but, it, but it's great to see it happen. And, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. It makes a lot of sense, because there are some really big ground vehicles that actually, like, you would actually be able to service components on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, the idea is you'll be able to service components on everything, whether it's a big ship or a small ship. 
or and building. That's at or building, but that's where we're going to be able to get that tuning built in, right? Like, yep. Once we exactly. can service parts, then we can start to tune parts. But you have to have those parts in a vehicle to tune it. If you don't have those parts in a land vehicle, then you'll never be able to tune a land vehicle. So all of the vehicles have to have all of the parts. What we're going to see next at some point is they are going to start developing parts for guns. Mm -hmm. And then those parts will be swappable and tunable. I mean, I'm also that... hoping that they're going to get to that point where, let's say you're in a tonk, you've got your, I'm going to say tech marine, because fuck you, tech marine is in the back, <laughs> and you, you're desperate for some sort of repair here, you can't fire the main gun for whatever reason, and tech marine is all like, well look, I've, I've got to get this gun firing, I have to divert power from X, so you just become a stationary turret just to get the gun firing, something like that. I, I want that kind of Oh, in-game cool. choices and drama. I mean, because yeah. we're going to get that like, ship. I can get you. I can get you the gun, but we lose all of the all of our power yeah. to wheel. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm I'm going to go to Starfield <laughs> here for a second because Starfield does you know, ship Omnisaya. power. <laughs> Crazy uh, Starfield does ship power and stuff, right? But it's a completely single-player game, and there have been times when it's like, shit, I have to try and get take my power off of my grab drive, give more to shields, give some to this, take some from engines, and all that while getting missiles fired at you is very difficult. And that's where Star Citizen is going to be great because it's going to be like, I'm not doing that shit. That's what my engineer is for. He's doing the power allocation. I'm doing the flying. You're doing the shooty bits. Yep. Teamwork. And that's that. Mm -hmm. That's that the thing where... that Starfield is missing the most. And that is where, if it's done properly, that's where Star Citizen is going to shine like a beacon in the yep. night. Because there are very, that's... very, very few games that that like actually... Like a beacon in the night! That's where that um, the players making their own stories really is going to come into play, I think. Yeah. Because imagine you're out there in whatever long-range exploration ship you've got, and you've just had this... Mm fucking phenomenal fight and you barely held the ship together you've got x amount of time before this whole thing is just gonna die on its ass totally. and you've got to get home or make some repairs and just from that you've got this whole plot that you're gonna go through of your own decisions your own choices and who knows where it's gonna go i think that would be really cool you know ba basically yep. you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere with a derelict ship and you're like I i'm not gonna kill myself we've got to we're gonna go down fighting we're gonna take what? whatever and, it takes to get this ship back and i think that's gonna get a lot more interest i'm actually gonna give me a second here because we're we're just we're, we're chatting um i think that's gonna start getting a lot more interesting once they start more fully implementing death of a spaceman because it doesn't really exist right now right your ship's yeah. dead okay well i'm just gonna suicide and respawn and keep going once they start to yeah. like make that more difficult then it's going to be and they, they're going to, at some point, be extending the time it takes to actually blow up a ship, yeah. right? Like, yeah. you can you can disable it, um, but it's gonna, it needs to take a lot to actually make it explode. Because mm -hmm. the people in the ship have to have time to surrender. They have to have time to try and do repairs. Like, there has to be time for boarding actions to make sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But there, there's also a secret way to blow up your ship. You just activate the computer, and then you say either Picard 47 Alpha Tango or Destruct zero, 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 Destruct. Worst password ever, Captain fucking Kirk. <laughs> hey, they were predicting the future, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's everyone's password. I, destruct. I like that password. Because destruct. Surely, surely there is going to be a self-destruct because, again, that adds another element of yep. Yep. drama to a boarding action. You know, you suddenly, you are now timed to complete this boarding action, get shit killed, out of your way, get to the bridge, 
and then somehow shut down the uh, self destruct sequence. Well, and it's yep. going to it's going to allow for some back and forth, right? Like you're the captain, you've locked yourself in the bridge. The people have landed in the landing bay, and they've stolen stuff, and now they're trying to come through. And you're like, "Get off my ship! Take what you've you've earned, or I'm going to self destruct and take you with me." Yep. I'm going to use the ultimate weapon, carbamite, and I'll tell Sulu. Prepare for the carbamite maneuver. And then for 45 minutes, I'll drag that bluff out. All right. Um, oh, I want to talk. Yeah, I want to talk. Episode. Uh, what do I want to talk about? I want to talk about something. Things and stuff? Yeah, Sex, stuff. Baby. Uh, here it is. You want to talk about I you wanna... and me? Yes, and that. <laughs> Oh, what a great exactly show. that. Exactly oh, that. Oh man, I love it. I want to talk about cargo because, oh, well, I love this. Uh, because oh, we yeah, were close. We're going to talk cargo. about boxes. Yeah, uh, and fitting them into spaces. Um, hmm. Cool. I, persistent hangers, of course. Yeah. So, some really cool stuff in this episode. Persistent hangers, great. Love it. Yep. Um. More cargo sizes, that's good. <laughs> give me a... But give me, like, a 0.25 SCU one that I can carry in my hand so I can put guns in it. Um, I... I distinctly worry about this episode and about some of the results of it and about CIG's focus on the tractor beam as a fun mechanic. As they said in this episode... It's like when you move and you get all your friends over to fill up the U-Haul, and it's so much fun, and fuck you, okay? Fuck you. That is not fun shit. That is, like, some of the worst times of life is trying to fit some bullshit in the U-Haul because you've got three hours before that fucking piece of shit is due back at the fucking U-Haul place, and you're going to get charged an arm and your ass to get it there and back, and you got to wow. just make shit fit. And it sucks. And it sucks getting it in. And it sucks driving it. And it sucks getting it out. And anyone, any fucking asshole who's like, yeah, this is fun gameplay. We're going to play U-Haul. No. Fuck you. No. I don't want to have to load all my goddamn fucking cargo. I think that is honestly bullshit. I think that's bullshit. And I, I was waiting all episode for them to be like and there's also an automated option where it just you wait some time and it gets filled in by ai no you you mean if i want anything on my ship i have to call it up on this fucking cargo cargo freight elevator and then manually move it myself into my ship fuck off. that's not what i want to gonna do give in a fucking space game Gonna say it's gonna what? be mixed, you know, depending on where you are. If you're out in the middle of space, like these uh, teddy bears here, you're you're it fell off Fine. a truck. Yep, and yep. I'm putting it in there. Okay, yeah, fair. Fine. But surely, if you're at a busy dock, you're gonna be able to hire AI <laughs> that load it in there. Yeah, they and, didn't. and or you can do it yourself and save you, some money. You will, David. The, I know they didn't yeah. say it in the episode, but they will. <sighs> I, no, but hang on, Eric. Because when are we going to be able to? Because if that's well, not at launch, then it means for however many months you're going to have to do this. Oh, they're not going to launch the game without that. That would be no, insane. no, no. At launch of at insane. launch of the feature. At launch of the, launch feature. the feature. They would. Yeah, they but, might do it at the launch of the feature. I don't know. I, don't I think, think that's. They will. I think that's. I I think that's. Well, there's not too much play. that's going to rely on it because <laughs> they're going to need to get the but AI why... to that state first and then things are going to change as they always do are and then the AI is going to be there like I don't know. Are you planning to do like large scale cargo hauling gameplay? Not anymore. Were you ever? I like cargo runs. Yeah, I, okay. I do. But if that's I good. have to manually load it all, no. Uh, well, they they did okay. add auto loading with the whole oh, seat. Shit. Yeah, Maze is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, surely, loads, yeah. what they've got now it would just be like you can click the button and it instantaneously just. I just I, they didn't 
say any of that and i'm slightly worried that they're like this is more yeah, real but like, they didn't say that when you play this game you're gonna have a fucking i don't know if you die in game chris roberts is gonna personally come to your house and shoot you in the head either but that's not gonna happen is it i just want to know more about how the cargo and and to be clear we are getting a second like this is a part one mm. right I'm really excited for part yes, two. I'm hoping part that two. part two answers some of these questions. I just, yeah. in this one, my my initial thought, and I, I opened up a notepad and took notes of U-Haul moving is not fucking fun. That was yeah, my I note. Completely, I, I completely agree with you on that front. I, I was like, they're like, oh, it's fun. You could just spat, you could like Tetris all of the boxes. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. That's no, I don't really want to I'm interested in Miami. No. Hey, Miami. Um, um, I mean, like, I am happy that it's an option because I know some people absolutely would, would love to do that. Well, just would love to do it. Jesus, Malkieri, don't do that. I was like, wait, no, Malkieri <laughs> wow, we so hacked. So close. So close. <sighs> no, Man, damn. Just Jeez. Malkieri, A plus. A plus. I love it. I love it. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, I love it. That's great. Oh, wow, that is actually well really impressive. Three times in a row, hey man, he must just hate you. He just he's rolling him. He's rolling a nat one every wow. time he tries to shoot you. But I mean, uh, they have always said this is the get out going to be how cargo is going to be. They've always said it's going to be a Tetris game, and you can do it manually yourself, and then you, you may get better results. Yep. Or you can hire AI to do it yourself, and they'll just be yep. like stacked. But either way, no matter what, you will still have to wait for it to be done. And, and I, I am part of fine this with And it's waiting. not the waiting that you have a problem with. I know. I'm just nope. throwing that in there as a disclaimer. Yeah. And but I think I think part of this yeah. was just showing that, that, you know, these are the systems that have been put in place because these yeah. systems need to exist for exactly what hmm. Shiver said. And Sh Shiver hmm. was a great to say this because... And that's great. It's great that you have automated ones. Yes. But if you if the manual stuff doesn't work, then there's no way to loot. Because um, well, you're not going to have automated cargo loading. Some people like to role play in single player games. This is very true. I don't get it. But that's that's not a problem. You know, some people will want to play Tetris with their cargo. I will <laughs> that's say, not I don't, a problem. I don't know if it's in this clip or in the other one, <laughs> oh, but uh, they do show off a clip. I think it's in here somewhere. That is brilliant, where it's like someone lands with their Hercules and they've got a, sh a store set up in there because yeah, yeah, they yeah, were able to attach, because they're able to attach non SCU boxes to the cargo grid. And that is A plus. Fucking mm -hmm. love it. Not I, forcing I, everyone to like I love 10 on 10. Idea. Thank you. I would and love to, like, to land my Hercules on a planet and set up a store. That's so well, cool. And well, even I mean, just this, it's, it's, being able to attach it's what an the end goal is with the Banu Merchantman, yeah. isn't it? The Banu yeah. Merchantman is literally a market square that just flies yeah. in, lands, and you're like, oh, well, here we go. And and I yep. like this clip right here of the Caterpillar that has its, its like, doors open because all the stuff is too long to fit in it. Otherwise, brilliant. <laughs> but, yep. but seriously, like, that would work. That should work. Why wouldn't as that work? As long as you're wearing your spacesuit while you're flying the fucking thing. Well, I, no, because you wouldn't <laughs> even have to, because you're in a separate compartment. No, no, right? I mean, if you're like if you're like a crew member walking around the ship, yeah. you need your spacesuit on. I, I love so much about this system, and I love that they're expanding it. I just... I need to I know, to you don't hear, want to have to manually load the cargo. I need to hear about auto-loading because, and, and I will be honest, and I think you got everyone here is probably going to disagree with me. I don't want it to take too much time. Oh, I agree. If I'm if I am filling yeah, up, I don't a think hull, anyone's going to disagree with that. Uh, if I'm filling up a hull E, yeah, that can take some time. If I'm filling up my freelancer, I better not be waiting five minutes for a freelancer to be filled with goods. Because, no, it should only be like um, it should be less time for a freelancer for sure. Because, and, and like, I hate I I like Starfield because Starfield is gamey, 
I'm I'm if I am less than like a hundred meters from my ship, or or even more, it's like five hundred meters from my ship. I can just open up my inventory, and open up my ship's inventory, and just send stuff from me to the ship. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna be able to do that in SC, aren't you? Eventually. No, no, you have I to do that was it. One manual. of the points of the Moby Glass was to be able to connect to your own fleet of ships and put out a contract to say, "I've got this cargo. I want that put there." We don't know. Maybe. Here's and, an and what X they... amount of ISC for it? I would love if that's the case, but what they talked about today was you can load up your Moby Glass and have stuff sent up on the freight elevator that you own. And then you have to take it from the freight elevator to your ship. I don't like well, that. I can't, yeah, but I can't, I can't see why it, they can't implement something like that because, you know, the game is aware of the property you own, the pro of they, where the property they, is. This is, this is what I was, remember earlier I was saying we're going to talk about Star Citizen's over-focus sometimes on simulation over gamification this is one of those places and you are forgetting you're forgetting what they said though david what's that they said they're always going to start at a place of re realism yep. and then bring it bring it back to fun no 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 and this I is was... this is a design brief they're not even remotely close to being done this feature i was i was no. sorry you, you i haven't forgot i was literally just about to say oh, like sorry i'm sorry I just <laughs> it's all good. this is why was... we should have talked about racing because you were last in position <laughs> I was Go literally it, just about to say exactly that. Like, this is a design brief. Yeah. They may notch it down over time, but they also listen to people. And when yep. do when is the best time to give them input? It's the entire time they're talking about it, right? Mm -hmm. I sure. don't. I don't want it to be too simulation. Mm -hmm. I want to mm -hmm. be able to have some fun without having. But, lose my entire evening to moving cargo into yeah, of course. a ship. If that's, I want to play Tetris, fair. I'm going to play Tetris. Yeah, that's fair. That's absolutely fair. But some, you know, people, people are different. You know, someone yep. loves doing cargo runs, and a I find that, you that can do it. mundane as bollocks. And they're going to want to play Tetris maybe sometimes or all the yep. time. And yeah, there needs to be an option. But I. I see what you're saying as well, but they are. There's going to be a middle ground that they find, and the problem yep. with finding a middle ground is that not everyone's going to be happy with it. So yeah, you might have to wait ten minutes for a freelancer to be automatically loaded, but you could do it yourself in five. But you no. might have to wait an hour for your hull E to be loaded, but you could do it yourself in forty-five minutes. But see, here's where I'm going to save. If it takes me five minutes of moving stuff to fill up a freelancer in a spaceport, I'm not fucking doing it. I'm I'm literally not doing that. I am not. That's not yeah, what I want to play. That's what the and that's 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 the deal, right? That's where they have to find the line between yes. between fun and realism. Yeah. Yep. Not only does it help with you know, not only do you have the option of say maybe I'll hire some AI then. Maybe there's going to be some dude who's like, hey, I can pack all that shit for you for this much money. And you're going, all right, I'll go and, I don't know, I'll play but text. I need to go, I wait. <laughs> knowing, knowing David, I need to go buy 14 more att attachments for my rifles. I'll be right back. Make sure my ship is loaded. <laughs> but see, see, two things. <laughs> One, uh, Miami, if I want to be a pirate, then I have to manually move all of the cargo over, and <laughs> I I genuinely think that that is bullshit. I genuinely hate that as a mechanic. I do not steal like the it. ship then. Okay, yeah, that, that's an option. Um, that's an option. But, you can just say fuck it but the other ship. thing is, I I genuinely hate in Star Citizen right now where I land my ship and I do. I want to go buy some attachments for my gun and I have to walk out of the spaceport down to the monorail, get on the monorail, mm -hmm. get off at the mm -hmm. right stop, walk mm -hmm. up, mm -hmm. find the right mm -hmm. store. Oh, it's the wrong store. Go over to the other store. Oh, here's the store I wanted. Mm -hmm. Buy my... You mean, you mean like every other game that exists? No! No, no not like every other game. It's Skyrim? Skyrim? Fallout, fast travel, fast travel. 
You fast, can't it's fast travel, travel when you're in the city, though, can you? Yes, you can. At least you can in Starfield. Oh, well, good for Starfield. <laughs> Why don't you marry it? No, but but I would genuinely working on it. <laughs> there is <Yeah. laughs> look right now. I'm look right it. now, I can go on but my no, phone. No, but by the way, <laughs> by the way, I get what you're saying. I fucking hate travel, right? I hate travel in real life. I like to yes. go to places. I hate the fucking time it takes to just sit in a yeah. car on a train on a plane, going fuck. This is prison. This is boring ass bollock shit. I could be doing so much more with my fucking life now. I could waste this another way. But no, it, it, that's but, how it be. But also, but, this is a fucking game, and you don't want to be sat there holding W for however many hours, and the highlight of that is moving your mouse. I get but, that. But hang on, because it's not even real life. Because right now, literally right now, what do I want in the world? Because I can order almost anything imaginable on my phone and guess fucking what it'll show up at my doorstop order it'll me love up. uh that's the only thing i can't tighten up <laughs> um but but why can't i like seriously in star citizen let me order something from a store and let me pay more to have it delivered to my ship i'll pay more i mean they they're literally using Amazon web servers. If that isn't in the game, it's a fucking cop out. They should have they should genuinely have Amazon delivery in Star Citizen. That would be hilarious. As like, yeah, Amazon Didn't will we, deliver it to you. Remember ship. when we had that talk when that was first announced and it was like, I wonder whether or not how you know how meta we'll be able to get with that if we can be all like, Hey ship, can you order me a pizza in real life? Because yeah. fuck yeah. I remember that. I, I kind of like that idea. I still do. Really I still do too. I, just, I suspect yeah. that a lot of the things that you want for quality of life features will be there. I hope they will. I just, I know right that now, I, it is they're not. As fuck. It's. <laughs> I, I'm right now. You need to know where to I, go, and that's and really that. not. Really, that's not great. I really don't know if they're gonna. That that travel time specifically, like Eris said, it it, it be like that. Not everywhere, well, and it won't be like a, that everywhere. And that does piss it's me off. It's an extreme too. example. Very few places in the game will be like Stanton. Ninety nine. Sure, sure. I'm I'm based on what they're saying and what we're the feeling we're getting. I think about ninety five percent of it's going to be stations. The travel time between your ship and a vendor and stations is a lot shorter than it is. It's on shorter. But hang on, because oh even in a station, you land, and props to them, I can order repairs to my entire yep. ship from my mobile glass. That's what I want. But if you want to go buy something, you still have to get out of your ship, go into the, the thing, take the elevator. The elevator can take like two or three minutes. Genuinely. Hang and on. then you have to go hang through the, the station. Fuck on. Two to three if minutes. You've got I've had it a take a while. In that station. Yeah. One, there's no excuse, no excuse for CIG to not allow you to get on your Moby glass before you arrive at that station, order, I'll be right back. I don't know, that, whatever that I you want, yeah. and have that delivered to your personal hangar. I, I agree there's with that. No like, I, I, would, I would be totally fine with them offering those types of things as like... Um as like paid options like delivery you pay you pay yeah, for delivery uh, to the hangar absolutely yeah like oh i gotta absolutely. i gotta i gotta land and go right i gotta land and i gotta pick it up and i gotta go right away yeah um so i'm gonna pay an extra whatever 10 percent to have it delivered exactly. to the hangar before i get there you know yeah i can yeah. see that Un happening. unless you got prime in which case yeah in included. which case in which case yeah. it's included yeah but you pay um yeah. a million a million uec a year um, yeah, but you also get access to the streaming. Oh my god, I we sound like we're actually sponsored. <laughs> shit. You mm. get access to <laughs> Universal Prime. <laughs> there we go. Shows all of the shows from the verse. Oh. And even in game, they will celebrate. The death of Optimus Prime with Prime Day, just um, like we do in real life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But, I oh, mean, sure, surely, if, if they're going to go with that level of immersion, because we have, we literally have that now. I could, like David said, I can go on fucking Amazon right now and have 
pretty much anything delivered to my front door. Yeah, within like a couple. Of Surely days. that's going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surely that's going to be in Star Citizen. Yes, Go you, the uh, man with the beard and the glasses. Oh wait. Thank you, thank you. Um, because holy <laughs> shit, that is actually a fucking genius idea. Because hang on. Oh, no. You want ex you like faster delivery in game. You have to pay extra UEC to get it right. Mm -hmm. But you tie your RSI account to your Amazon account, and <laughs> if you have no, no, so hold up. If you have Prime, if you are a Prime subscriber, then that fee is waived. And. And what do what do we need to do? Hang on, hang on. It gets better because we've all been asking for shit to do on really long quantum travel, right? Well, you're Watch a Prime, Prime subscriber. Video. You can bring up Prime we, we, Video. We, we had that on chat. Your MFT. We had that chat. Come on, we had that oh. chat. come on. I, I I'm me. I'm there all for right, the. You David, should be able to. David, not should. You would, it would be nice feature. Right after this. Not, right after mm -hmm. this. You need to send a DM to Jake. <laughs> tell me, tell me this isn't a fantastic idea. <laughs> what they tell need, me it's not on, a great idea. No, 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 no. To make it a fantastic idea, what they need to do is if if your Prime subscription runs out, they're going to retroactively charge you for the deliveries. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, unity. Not, not I genuinely think that would be a great cross collaboration. Like, oh, honestly, I don't, I don't like. The idea that if you've got Prime, you get free deliveries in game. I don't like that. No, 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 no like not, the not idea free deliveries. Behind, if you've got Prime, you can watch Prime video on an MFD. I don't that's think great. that's going to realistically ever happen for so many fucking reasons. It'd be, it it's would because be, of licensing, be, but the very genius. most basic. It would be genius, but though. I do like the idea a hell of a lot. And yeah. I mean, when Eve first implemented uh walking oh. in your hangar not <laughs> anyway, anyway i'm not going i'm not going there no um people did make it so they they found a way to have whatever video they wanted playing in their hangar when they got to the hangar but that was an offline thing but i i like that idea i do like the idea at the very yeah there, there's a lot that it's a smart I idea. Like the I, think idea it, I think there are e issues with the implementation of it, but I yeah. love the thought. It's so it would be if they could pull it off, it would be just such an elegant thing, you know. Mm. I I but will no, I genuinely mean, say something, I, send something to Jake because you should you well because because I like bother, bothering Jake because you, Jake you like bothering is Jake. the best when, human. When we've but, got things like the Reliant just for newscasting or doing yeah. an in-game stream that's in-game, then the hope would be that people are going to be actually making use of that. Yeah, I want to watch these <laughs> huge fucking battles going on that I'll never be a part of, but yeah, I want to watch them going that... on. I want to watch these races going on. Make it work. It's going to be so fucking cool. Yeah. If it actually uh, works... Where you can watch like the live stream of somebody flying a reliant around in game, it's gonna be amazing. Can I also mm. just say I missed it mm. earlier, but Mazer D, I love the uh, gotta simulate the Caspalis dystopia just like everything else uh, comment. It's yeah, it, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, the um, news fan. I mean, they're pretty so much are, aren't they? I'm really, saying, let's be honest. I'm just saying, Miami, that that it's it's. How, as far as I'm aware, we haven't actually seen it working in the game. Um, hmm. uh, I mean, if so. let's not forget as well that if the Reliant has that capabilities, that's just going to be a module that any ship, in theory, could just have. Could have. Yeah. In theory, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I I can't see a javelin having a problem having a fucking in-game video camera. <laughs> so. I do want to say, so that clip right there, it, it just passed, but the one with the Aurora attached to the giant thing, yep. mm -hmm. that clip makes me really happy. Because that means that it would, in theory, be possible to have a hull... They're fucking around, dude. <laughs> no, I know, no, no, but th that and what they were saying was they want anything to be, like, oh. in, in reasonable, like... I know, I know. Reasonable exactly what Malkiri says. Like, you could in theory mm -hmm. 
if if they continue with this and if this is what we end up with where you can attach yeah. just about anything to a cargo grid you could take a hull e and fill the entire hull e with furies that are all manned do. yes yes shiver i don't think they're gonna let you do that no i don't think so either i mean they have, they've said before that it would be amazing don't get me wrong i don't think they'll let you do that for one to just specifically put it's in just, there as cargo because they I would imagine they'd be in crates for starters. Balance. Well, no, no, but they could... showed they showed a ship just attached to the Holly's um, hull. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I don't know. Is... Yeah, but they also said that's not reflective of final product. Uh, no, well, what not, they said. Only, okay, what I'm saying is, in this episode, the gameplay whatever visualization team I can't remember their name was just fucking around. They are yes. literally yeah. trolling Jared. It's not yeah. like that's what I mean. None it, of this like, stuff has it, visualization. If you... yeah. If you've but, got but a tanker on. in real life that's full of fucking, I don't know, Subaru and Pretzels, you can't get on the tanker, start the engines of the Subaru, and drive off into the sunset. Guys? Guys? Yeah. yeah they straight ahead. up said in the episode that they want you to, and said, not visuals, said from their mouths, their mouth holes, their third best holes, um, mm -hmm. that they... <laughs> Somebody yes. clip it. Somebody yes. clip it. Somebody <laughs> clip it. Post it in our Discord. <laughs> anyway, go wow. ahead, David. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> Oh. And all we got from Mazer is, is a side eye, basically. Oh. Side eye. Um, they oh, said, man. they said, using their mouth holes, that they want to be able to attach non-SCU size and shape yeah. things. They want you to be able to attach, and I think this <sighs> is like verbatim what they said, anything within reason. That can fit yeah. mm. in that cargo grid. They want it to be mm. able to be attached. So in theory, yes, you could absolutely attach ships. I, and if you can attach I, the I, ship, I I, 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 I can't say that one. I want to be a millionaire. No, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, what I was saying. David, I want financial is, security. Is that I think that they're are. going to be able to. I think they're going. That will be technically possible. I think they will not let you do it for gameplay balance reasons. What won't they allow I you to do though? Attach ships. Um, have have um, like seventy five auroras attached to a hull E or 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 one hundred and twelve yeah. furies attached to a hull E, all yeah. with crew in them, all ready to launch at any given moment. Hold up, hold up, because <laughs> it gets it actually gets more fun. It gets more fun. <laughs> Because you don't necessarily have to launch them. What if you had a Hully <laughs> covered in tonks and you don't launch the tonks? You're just fucking fine. I mean, <laughs> in theory, because I mean, theory. they did show the, the tonk in uh, <laughs> a pillar and lined up. And I mm, mean, so okay. Mm, mm, and I mean, mm, even better. Mm, and anybody who's actually read the Expanse series will really appreciate this, but you could use the tanks as thrust too if your engines are out. You just keep firing in one direction and you, you know, go the other way. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. I'm just saying. You know, it, it could use them as propulsion. It would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> I mean, oh. okay. Okay. That's, oh. I think that's a little bit more in the realm of realism than having. 70 primed ready to go oh. ships. Fueled, so this is the moment, um, David. In... Are you ready for mm. it? What? This is the best episode we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did kill you I, both, I, which yes. I think you'll find it's the third best episode we've ever had. Episode. I'm, I'm, I'm interested if Cass has ever heard that line, but... <laughs> 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 but, oh, I killed him now. Oh, there we go. I love the idea that he he actually would walk right up to Cass and say, "You know what? 
Your mouth is your third best hole. Oh my god, it's just terrible. <laughs> and it was on that day he had to sleep in one of his many other bedrooms inside of his mansion. <laughs> He's never allowed to leave the basement again. Oh, oh my god. god. No one. <laughs> you can go and sleep on the third best bed in the house then. Uh, that's sorry, actually our Aiden. bed. Our <laughs> bed is the third best. Just the kids both have new beds. We're we're stuck with our old one because we can't afford a new one. Oh god, it's so funny. Uh, okay. Yeah, please, please don't. Because you got to spend all your money on presents to make up for saying it was the third best. <laughs> wow. Oh no. Uh, anyway. You'll be surprised uh, to learn that the better <laughs> ones are the left ear and the right nostril. <laughs> oh man, I... pretty soon I'm... Orifice officiendo here. Oh my god. Uh, hot dogs? <laughs> it's a maser, that's a move. <laughs> I um can I just apologize <laughs> profusely no, it's too late. It's too late for that. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh man. I'm I'm David again. Thank you guys. I really fucking needed this. This has been fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I really needed this today. It's been great. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> that was this oh. week. Oh, what an episode. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Everything is calm. Everything is good. What am I watching here? This is the pirate video from this this pirate week. Um, and Ooh. this is the this is a really cool video they made for pirate week. It was actually pretty neat. <clears throat> Aw, I wanted that guy to be like reaching for a frying pan and just like calmly cooking in the background while there's there's a bar <laughs> fight going on. <laughs> They've gotten really good at shooting videos. That the thing, the thing I'm not telling you, though, this is, this is actual in game footage because they've got that many players, so the FPS just. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Beautiful. I love the crazy smile on her face. Yeah. I love the guy in the background intentionally firing off to the yeah. left, not even yeah. trying. Like, way off, yeah. Way yeah. off. Live yeah, like I think when they're moving that slowly, he'd be able to aim better. I would like everyone to remember the, the original meaning of Pirate Week. Live like a pirate. Download all of your software and video games illegally. I want you to remember the actual meaning behind Pirate Week and then eat as many pies as you can and rate them. Wow. <laughs> Using your third now, best you, hole. Now, third best hole. For you. It's a very, very technical question for you, Shiver. Does a pizza pie count as a pie? Pe I, I, don't, I don't get why that comes from with pizzas being pies. I don't understand. Chicago that. deep dish. It's still not a pie. Chicago deep dish is as close it as a pizza like... gets to a pie. Because yeah. I mean, you can't. I mean, if, you can't if that counts as a pie, pies. then surely it counts as a cake. Or sure. Virtually any baked good, because it's you know. I mean, it can also count as. How do humans want to classify things? Round number uh, seven. Let's <laughs> let's be very clear here. A Chicago deep dish pizza could actually count as a soup. True. So could a bath with a human in it. Yes. Yes. Tea is technically a soup. Yes. It yes. Is. Yeah. Actually, no. Tea is technically if you prepare tea properly, it's not a soup because it's never actually boiled. It's. You don't boil hey. the water. Oh, you get the fuck out of here if you don't know how to make a cup of tea properly. Wow. What the fuck? Wow, that Jesus was Christ. That was aggressive. Always I don't mean, boil I don't water mean, I mean, David, David was aggressive there. My God. You don't boil water. You use off-boil water for coffee. 
and then you use yes. boiled water for tea. There that is doesn't infuse there, properly, and I don't even fucking like that shitty there, ass tea that everyone. Did drinks. you know that there is actually an international coffee association who have determined the internationally accepted golden standard for temperature to brew coffee at? Yes, I do okay. believe that because there is an international standard for everything. Yep. Yeah. There is a golden temperature what to brew coffee at. Uh, honestly, I don't recall. My coffee brewer does it automatically. I, I uh, heard it said once. Coffee, you know the... to, achieve, to achieve the golden cup standard, water temperature at the point of contact with coffee uh, must fall between uh, 200 Fahrenheit, plus or minus 5 degrees. Or 93 Celsius, plus or minus 3 degrees. Oh, so right oh, okay. up against boiling, but not quite. Not yeah. boiling, but, but just about. Very close, yeah. Oh. I've heard it said the best way to make coffee. Uh, have you, you know, the Italian uh, yep. steel kettle things? I I've got that several. Is the best way. Yeah, I, I've used them as well. It's like, okay, that's for that's espresso coffee. though. That's that's a for espresso, not not coffee. <laughs> Jesus, no what? wonder Italians are always on the move. If that's how much espresso they're drinking, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus did you, this, you can get huge <laughs> liters of those bastards and they're just there like ah, ha, ha. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, espresso should come in shots. Yes. Well the first like... time I ever had an espresso. I'm gonna share a story of my life with you. <laughs> Sorry everyone. I went to a Starbucks. I know, first mistake, but um person i was with she ordered um a hot chocolate and she got this fucking swimming pool sized hot chocolate and i yep. said i'll have an espresso please my espresso was more than her fucking olympic sized swimming pool of hot chocolate i just got this fucking tiny little cup size not even the size of an egg cup wasn't even full i'm like well mm, uh. and it wasn't even hot i mean you went to Very a starbucks so mm. Oh, this was this was a long time ago in Miami, so I think it was something like her hot chocolate was like five pounds seventy five and my espresso was like six, seven quid, something like that. That's, That's a, a lot. lot. Holy shit. That's a lot. Welcome to the UK. Wow. Yeah. Import tax, luxury tax, BAT. And that's, and that's free Brexit, is it not? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like, that's when everyone was like why the fuck would we do that? That would be economic suicide. <laughs> uh, they were right. It was. <laughs> Even Margaret um, Thatcher, the fucking incarnate of evil, was like, why the fuck would we, why would we do that? You? Uh, She's Bobo. looking up at us all now going, well, what the fuck did you expect to happen? <laughs> I told you. Oh, but, um, uh, well... Uh, I think we should probably ask Shiver what's up on the show this yeah. week. We're, uh, we, we we're have uh, we have reached the end of the time that we're allowed to speak in public in a week. Um, yeah, this is all they give us. This is this is all we're allowed. Any more than this, and whew, you'd be surprised at what comes out of our third best face holes. Um, <laughs> you'd be surprised what goes in. Shiver, what do you got going on this week? Uh, I don't know if Softy's running anything this week. I think he might still be dog sitting. I'm not sure, but uh, I have got um, Oxford Dash is coming up on Friday night in your time zone, most likely. Uh, tune in for that. Uh, I was very, very ill this past week of a uh, my no cold migraine, stomach issues. I had two days to make an entire game. I did not get to make an entire game. And because of all that, I lost track of how many players I was going to have. So Noskavian was really fucking good and uh, came in on his day off. So I had three players instead of two, and we did a half game. So thank you, Noskavian, even though you're not watching this, because you're probably in bed sleep because you work fucking long hours. So you, you were greatly appreciated. But yeah, Oxford Ashes, Vampire the Masquerade V5 over on twitch.tv slash Table of Horrors. No one's going to come to that because it's a very small overlay between us. 
Um, question or not question statement statement. Um, I did want to take the opportunity to once again, thank, uh, Hermes for doing most of our videos. Um, yes, it is very much appreciated. Um, he, he, about 95% of the time he does the videos for us to show on, uh, on the stream. So yeah, thank you very much. Yes, and, it is. Um, it is greatly appreciated because, um, we're we're uh, useless. We're, yeah, I yeah am, that's a good way. That's good. That's good. I am so incredibly useless, and um, it's really nice to have people around you're that saving, aren't. You're saving the planet. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm trying. I, I I did a great thing recently, and I'm really really you proud did. of it. Um, I I got some environmental language into the government of canada's guidance on generative ai like it's a, a government of canada this is how the government of canada will use ai and i got language on the environmental impact of ai and how should we should responsibly use it into that language and i'm like shit i did i i genuinely did a thing that like will maybe a fraction of a percent help, but felt really good. So good job, man. They like awesome work. That's basically what it'll take is a whole bunch of people doing, doing pieces of work to get us there. Yeah. One, one little bit at a time. It, you know, it's not going to be one big bang. It's going to be, there little, is no one, steps. there's no one, one solution. It's a million small solutions. So, We'll all, we will, we will persevere. We will, um, you know, we'll beat this just hey. like we beat, just like we beat COVID. <laughs> we did beat that one. <laughs> There's a new one. God damn it. Viruses are a bitch. Um, um <laughs> what were you, so, sorry, someone was saying something before this and I realized I just fucked it all up again because that right? that's what my, Eric, oh, no, oh, I was just—I was just thinking. I was just thinking, Hermes for his thing. Oh yes, yes. Sorry, I took yep. the—I took a oh, nice no. touching moment and turned it into, uh, you know, dystopian hellscape, which is what I do with everything. Oh, hey, good, um, um, I, I, I do. I want to thank everyone. Want to cut who... Eric off mid-sentence? Yes. Again? Sorry, Eric. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I actually haven't Hell. told you guys this either, but I figure there's no reason not to tell everybody at the same time. But I actually just looked at the calendar, and I am going to be missing for a couple, maybe three weeks in a row here. Um, you guys should definitely have a show in that time. I'm going to try and get on for one of them, but it might, like, it might be, I might be on my laptop in another city for, okay. for it. <laughs> but I'll, um, I just realized that I have like. I'm like, oh, I next weekend I'm in BC, and then the following two weekends I'm out hunting. That's not cool. Um, I'm gonna try and get at least one of those where I can actually be on. But okay, well, um, if, if not... everything goes tits up, then I might be missing for three weeks. But uh, but yeah, we'll be back around. Then for... then Shiver and I were, will either yeah. find something to to kill I mean, time doing, or we'll uh, we'll figure it you out. You guys need to you guys need to cover part two of of cargo so that you yes. can rage when they don't talk about automatic cargo <laughs> and i need to i need to tell everyone what the fourth best uh hole is yeah i mean that is a very i want to know topic. what the first and second are i'd already told I, you left ear right I, nostril I, oh yeah, 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 yeah that's right. there is so much a part of me that wishes that Cass would someday watch this episode but i know she won't <laughs> someone clips this Puts it in the relay channel, <laughs> and then someone DMs Mrs. X. You don't uh, even have to. I think she's in relay. She's in the relay. Yes, I know, but I yes. don't think she's got, you know, any motivation to look into that. So that's true. That's true. Don't do it. Oh my god! Um, no, I'm not, I, no, I'm gonna leave you be. I'll, I'll leave you be. I, I I wanted to to <laughs> sincerely thank um you two, first of all. And and everyone else uh, here, I was having a really, really, really shitty day, and uh, this really cheered me up. 
and I'm yep. I'm really grateful one for for you two for doing this you know week in week out with me, and uh, for everyone that that came and watched and hung out and chatted or sat and said nothing and just you know listened to us be a bunch of idiots. I I I love you all. Apart and, from uh, that one person who was left, we were at fifteen. They fucked off. Whoever that was, <laughs> fuck you. Oh jeez, <laughs> yeah. probably me to be honest. I hope that goes well, Malkiri. But but seriously, uh, thank you all. Love you all. It's it's even you know what are we? Fuck, Twats. eleven years in. Um, no, not that long. But it it all well it depends. Well, eleven on years into Star Citizen. Stop. Eleven years yeah, into Star sure. Citizen. Yep. This is yep. this has oh. been a hell of an eleven year journey with you know. Yep all these these crazies and uh i love you all for it so yes shiver where's my game um go download well, it just watched it for a while it's right there it may not be a good game yet but it is there it's better than some i've played many it's <laughs> absolutely played. Best better game? than a lot of games out there <laughs> <laughs> uh, right i now. wouldn't i wouldn't say that it it is the third best uh anything no um but the mouth is the third best face hole. So, love you all. <laughs> Have a you great you, modify, you modified that quote to try and make it less offensive. I it love is it. The, the, 